Scorpios, the general energy that I got for you guys is the Ace of Pentacles. So there is a new beginning and stability in your love life. The first card that I got for you guys is the Temperance card. So you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, right now you are trying to find that balance. Temperance represents balance. And with the Ace of Pentacles, you are trying to find that stable, loving, balanced relationship within yourself and within others as well. You are definitely manifesting this with the Magician card. You may also be dealing with a Gemini and the King of Wands in reverse. So you may be dealing with someone who you know from your past who probably is a Sagittarius, a Leo, or Aries who weren't, who wasn't best behaved. But you are trying to manifest them or you're trying to change them um, so they can become your lifetime partner. So you, so they can become that potential mate that you always wanted. And with the Ace of Cups present, I feel like you are going to do this. Um, you are going to manifest this into your life along with the star card. So this is a very positive and beautiful reading. Now, when I clarify the Tempest card, I got the five of wands in reverse. So you're definitely getting out of inner conflict and out an external conflict with a Sagittarius or basically getting out of conflict with a particular person that is from your past. I feel like it's not a new person. I feel like you know this person and this person did cause drama in your love life. However, um, you are trying to renew this relationship. Now, when I clarify the magician card, I got the Ten of Wands in reverse, along with the Eight of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, definitely someone from your past. You're not walking away from the situation. You are um, trying to forgive this person with the Ten of Wands in reverse. You're not trying to bring the baggage from previous um, previous outcome from the from that same relationship. But you're not moving on from this person. You really want to manifest this person back in your life, but you want them to be a changed person. Now, when I clarify the King of Wands in verse, I get the Six of Swords in verse, the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. So you are, whatever you're manifesting right now, especially with someone who's your past flame, you are going to get this person back, and this person is going to change because you got the six of wands um this is a victory card so you are gonna manifest this person to come back in your life and to change the the way that they used to be um with the six of swords you basically giving that balance six represent balance and tarot so you want that balanced relationship because previously it probably wasn't a balanced relationship even though you love this person and even though this person may love you it wasn't balanced but you want that same relationship, but 2.0. You want to upgrade because you feel like this person is your soulmate. Now, when I clarify the Ace of Cups, I got the Queen of Wands. So you are definitely dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or Aries. Um, this person is going to see you as... I don't want to say goddess, but they're going to see you as someone that they really admire, someone that, that they respect, someone that they see a future with, um, with the queen of wands. Um, they see you who, someone who's worth fighting for in a relationship. And I feel like this whole situation that's going to take place in May is going to be a renewal of your, of you guys, um, relationship. Now, when I clarify the star card, I get the um, the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So eight um, represents the infinity sign. Um, so this person is someone that's going to stay in your life for a long time. You're going to learn a lot of lessons from this person. Um, you are hopeful with this relationship. So when this person comes back in your life, you are hopeful. You know it's going to require work with the Eight of Pentacles, but you don't care because you feel like this is the person for you. Um, now, with the Eight of Swords, 
um, you may feel kind of trapped, I would say, kind of trapped, but not like in a negative way, um, more like, you just, I feel like you're trapped within your, like, your perception, you know, I feel like this is the person that you want to be with, but you kind of trap with the perception because swords represent thoughts, mind. So you may be trapped in perception. However, you're still hopeful and you're going to work hard to make this relationship last. Now, when I clarify the ace of pentacles as a general energy, I got the four of pentacles. So you're not letting this person go. So when they come back in your life, you're going to have them all locked down. Um... But it's not like, um, well, you guys are, I'm, I'm not going to be, I'm not trying to generalize Scorpios, but y'all kind of are possessive. So you are going to make sure this person's on lockdown. You know, you're not going anywhere, but not in a negative sense, um, more, not like, like a negative sense, but more like you just want this person to all the time be there for you, no matter what, you know? And with the Ace of Pentacles, it's definitely going to happen because it's going to renew the relationship with the Ace of Cups. There's so much renew renewals in this relationship for me. You're going to see the benefits of this relationship. And that's the reading that I got for you guys.